This time I'm visiting a monastery that was built by demons, God and humans together in 8th century. Have to wear the mask when you enter the monastery. Alright guys, good morning and Tashi Delik to everyone. Hope you are having an amazing day. This is Chamyang and welcome back to my channel. Alright, so this time I'm here at Samir Monastery, the first and the oldest Tibetan Buddhism monastery in Tibet, which was built in 8th century. And we have a saying that that monastery was built by demons, God and humans together. So it's like a mystery monastery. And with this awesome chance, I'm going to try my best to share you all my experience of what I see in this Samye Monastery, the oldest monastery in Tibetan Buddhism. original and a holy monastery so that's why you can see more locals praying than the visitors And as many many experience of being guide in Tibet, I mean some tourists they're just straightly taking pictures inside the chapels, but I really don't recommend that. You have to ask to the monks before you take the picture. So let's continue exploring this amazing place. Alright guys, so right now I'm here at the main chapel of the Samir Monastery, Utse Hall. And you can see three stories. So the first ground is in Tibetan style and the second floor is in, is it in Chinese style and the third floor is in Indian style. Amazing, isn't it? I can film outside, but I don't know if I can film inside this most important Utsi chapel that was founded in 8th century, the first original monastery. So let's go and see how the Utsi hall, the main chapel looks like. Right now I'm here on the first ground Oh my god, this is really really important. You see this hand statue and you also can see him on the paintings as well. We have a saying that that monastery once was destroyed by fire and this hand shouted and every monk wake up and can save this monastery. So this hand is consisting as the protector of the Samir monastery. Right now, I'm going on second floor. Look at this yard. Right, so now I am on Chinese style. This is second floor of the Samir Monastery. But sadly, I couldn't show you inside. So up there is the Indian style, which is already blocked. I can't go up there. So this is all the three stories of Tibetan, Chinese and Indian style. The Uteho, the main chapel of the Samir Monastery. Let's go and enjoy the monastery toilet. Look at this toilet. It's like a five-star toilet. 
All right, let me show you the toilet. Wow. Look at this toilet. It's really, really clean. This was a really, really clean toilet. I don't know how to explain how Tibet is developed. This monastery is far less busy than the monasteries in Lhasa. For instance, like Portala Palace or other monasteries. I mean, it's like really peaceful and so quiet. Look at this. And now I'm here at the most special place of the Samir Monastery because most of the tourists and the locals when they visit Samir Monastery they just visit this Utse Hall but they are not coming here but here it is really really special because this wall or the house is actually the one that can prove that this monastery was built by demons, God and human in 8th century Anyway, now I'm going to show you those walls that was built by demons. So here we can compare, see, the wall that is built by the demons are really, really rough. And the one that was built by humans are in so detail. So this wall is built by humans and this wall here is built by demons. Right now, I'm going inside the house that was built by demons. I'm in the house that was built by demons. Right, so that's all about the demon house in Samir Monastery. I mean, you really should come here and visit this place. People have a strong belief that this house is absolutely built by demons, God and human in the 8th century. It was interesting. And right now I'm here at the debating courtyard of Samir Monastery and mostly they debate about philosophy of Tibetan Buddhism and now I'm going to show you the monks debating inside Samyai Monastery What's your name, sir? Kujola. Kujola, Jisunda. The debate is finished. That was a really beautiful debate. It's a very, very historical and holy monastery for Tibetan Buddhism. I mean, for every Buddhism, you know. That was built in 8th century by great master Padmasambhava and our king, Chisong Detsen. I mean, this place is like awesome. This place is so, so holy. And when we die, when every one of us die, our soul must have to pass by Samir Monastery through this chapel. And this chapel is called Chok Chapel, and people also call it Samir Ukam. Let's visit the chapel that we must have to pass after we die. So this is like a last station before we leave the human world. So in this way, if we didn't go to Samir Monastery in our lives, we wouldn't be able to find our way to neither world. Wow, look at this painting.
after we die, we must have to come here and this Ukang for our next reincarnation. All right. So that's all about this soul chapel. And I also feel a little bit afraid, you know. I'm afraid of dying. Anyway, I must have to come here after I die. So I hope you like it. And remember to be kind because being kindness is only the things that belongs to you. Because many of us, we think that our wife, our child, our car, our house are the things that belong to us. But actually after we die, nothing belongs to us except being kind and your knowledge. There's only two things that belongs to us. Yes, he's, he's, a, he's selling an amulet here. He says it's a stone fallen from sky. Looks really, really holy. Relics. So let's keep it as a memory from Sunny Monastery. <laughs> bye bye. Can you see those troopers? I mean, it's like countless. I've been counting all those troopers. <sighs> lots and lots of stupa. And, you know, many of the Buddhist texts, the Buddhist scriptures, are all translated from Sanskrit into Tibetan in this monastery. So, I mean, this monastery is like really important for Tibetan Buddhism. to do a little swimming in the nature. That was a nice swimming. Can you hear the sound? I think nearby here, the monks are practicing the Hmong dance. I'm gonna find out and show you the Hmong dance, the Tibetan Hmong dance. Wow, the sounds of the trumpeter. It's really, really beautiful. Just following the locals, and they told me that the monks are practicing the Hmong dance. So let me show you the Hmong dance. Look at the monks practicing the Hmong dance. <laughs> the Hmong dance is perfect. And now I feel a little bit hungry and it's time for lunch. <laughs> Chips. This is where they fry the chip. So it's a French fries street food in Tibet, which we call Le Bing. So that's going to be my lunch today. I can buy him just the french fries. Mm. <laughs> Look at the street food is a little bit spicy, but it's really, really delicious. And I'm so happy to help this beggar. So, that's all about Samir Monastery. 
a very interesting experience I have in Samir Monastery and I really enjoyed this monastery and I'm so proud that I can show you the Samir Monastery with me. Anyway, now I'm gonna climb this Hippuri Mountain where I can show you all the view of Samir Monastery. And Hippuri Mountain is like must seen spot at Samir Monastery. And it's also a very, very holy place. The Hippuri Mountain way on the top, you can also see the meditation cave of the Patmasambhava. So I'm gonna show you Hippuri Mountain from here. So that's the Hippuri Mountain. And I'm gonna climb Hippuri Mountain now. All right, finally, I'm here on the top of the Hippuri. And you see Samir Monastery down there. And now I'm gonna show you this small chapel where Padmasambhava was meditating in the 8th century. So this is Padmasambhava, the founder of this Samir Monastery. All right, so that's all about Samir Monastery, the first original Tibetan monastery. And I hope that you enjoyed watching this video with me. This is Jamyang, welcome to Tibet. We are the one that can show you the original Tibet.